Hey everyone, thank you so much for checking out today's Canva tutorial video. Today we're going to learn how to use Canva for Redbubble design. Just a brief overview, Redbubble is an online platform for print-on-demand products using submitted artwork or designs by artists or users. So if you want to start selling on Redbubble, go to their website first. Once you're there, click on Sell Your Art. Scroll down a little bit and click on the Start Selling button. Next, enter your email and other information and then click on Sign Up. Once you do that, you'll be redirected to your dashboard. So here on your dashboard, you've got three things that you need to complete. That is to create products, set up shop, and get paid. Of course, the first thing you need to take care of would be to set up your shop. So go ahead and do that. Here you'll be able to add your profile picture, add your cover image, add social links if you want to, and add bio. Next, you have to take care of your payment details. So go to the Get Paid category. And from here, you'll be able to add your name and email address, confirm your email, confirm your mobile phone number, and add your payment details. And lastly, we have Create Products, and that will lead us to Canva. Now here on our homepage, we're going to go to the Custom Size button and input our desired dimensions here. For Redbubble, according to their blog, we have 2,400 pixels for the width and 3,200 pixels for the height for their shirts. The reason why we're going to be creating shirts is because it's one of the most popular types of products in Redbubble, and your t-shirt design size will be able to fit most of their other products too. So let's go and input that there. Let's copy 2,400 and then 3,200 pixels. Now let's click on create new design for us to be taken to the Canva editor. Okay, and here we are on the Canva editor. By the way, it's important to take note of Canva's policy when it comes to selling your designs created on their platform. So we're going to read Canva's um, policy over here. What is allowed? Sell your design on merchandise, for example, t-shirts. So this is good. But there is something that you have to take note of. Standalone content, for example, a photo used on its own without any other design elements, has restrictions. For example, it can't be printed on products or merchandise for sale. So basically, we're not allowed to use a standalone element. It should be a bunch of elements forming a design. So by using content in a design or a composition, you're creating something unique. And once you do, there are very few restrictions on what you can do with your creations. Go wild. So let's start creating our design in Canva. Let's go back to our Canva editor and you can create whatever design you want to create. So in my case, I'm going to go to the elements section here and I'm going to look for a cute food um, graphic element. So I'm going to go to graphics and I'm going to scroll down to see if we can find some cute foods. Right here, I think it looks really cute. And once we click on it, we'll be able to see some recommendations as well. Other graphic elements that look similar to the one we chose. Um, we're going to click on see all to see other options. Mm, okay, I think I'm going to replace it with this one and put it in the middle. Okay, the next thing that I want to do is to add some texts. So you can go to the text button on the sidebar and click on add text over here or you can simply press the T button on your keyboard and yeah, this text box will appear. I'm just going to type in your, my and I'm going to type in here cupcake. 
Okay, of course, our texts are looking really, really plain. So let's go ahead and make them beautiful. I'd like to click on this um, text and take care of this first text first. And I'd like to change its font to something that looks cute. So I'm going to go to the font bar here. And I'm going to type in here, handwriting. And we're going to choose some cute handwriting fonts. That would look good on our, um, what do you call it, on our element here. I think that's okay, but I'm looking for something else. Okay, what about this one? This is really cute. So, okay, would it look good if I turned them all into capital letters? Yeah, I think so. Okay, why don't we do that? And if you like, you can actually add effects to your text. So go to effects here and select any text effect that you'd like to apply to your text. I think this looks cute. I'm just going to make this bigger. And perhaps I'm going to change our color. I'm going to select a color from here. So perhaps I'm going to uh, use the color picker tool and select that color. And perhaps I could adjust the thickness of our outline. Okay, that should be all, all right. And I actually have an idea. Um, I just wanna know if it's going to look good if I curve it. So we are going to scroll down and click on curve and adjust the intensity of that curve and do something like that. Okay, that should be fine. Now let's take care of this word. Or, yeah, I think we might not need this anymore since this is already a cupcake. So perhaps I'm just going to make that bigger. And I'd like to try changing the color to purple instead. I was actually thinking of saving purple for the uh, word cupcake. But since we removed it, then perhaps we can change the color and see if it's going to look good. Mm, okay. Okay. I think this looks better. All right. Um, I think it's still looking pretty dry. So I guess I should put more elements. So what about shadow? I'm going to go to elements here. And let's look for a circular shadow. Perhaps this one would do. Let's put that here. Let's make it smaller and go to position to send it backward. And perhaps I could adjust the transparency as well. Um, yeah, I think that should be fine. And I'd like to add um, a few more decorative elements to make it look mm, less boring. And let's select cute heart elements over here. I think this one looks cute, so perhaps, oops, I'm going to use this one, put it right over here, and change its color to something else. I'd like to zoom in so that I'd be able to control this more. And I'm going to duplicate this element and place the other one right over here. And duplicate it again. Place this one over here. Okay, I guess that's it. We're just going to do a simple design today instead. And by the way, before you save your design, it's actually really important for you to create um, another variation of your design that would look good on black t-shirts. Now, obviously, we have a white background here, so this design is going to look good on white t-shirts. But what about on black t-shirts? So to do that, you're actually just going to click on duplicate here to duplicate your design. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to change my background color to black to see if my elements look good once their background is black instead of white. 
and as you can see pretty much it looks still the same still good except for the text over here so i'm gonna experiment and try to change the um outline of our text to white and let's see if that's gonna look good um i think it's okay but perhaps we can adjust the thickness and adjust the offset as well if you want to there so it all depends on you just tweak things out and make sure that your design would look good both on white backgrounds and dark backgrounds and once you're happy with your design you can finally click on share download and for your file type make sure to select png now when you're gonna sell designs you want to make sure that your designs would look good once printed so go ahead and adjust your download settings over here to the maximum so for the size you're gonna have to drag the slider all the way to the right for maximum resolution and you want to make sure to tick the checkbox for transparent background as well now unfortunately these features are only available for those with canva subscriptions but no worries canva offers a free trial period which you can go for so yeah you can opt in for their free trial period and see if this is something that you might want to invest in in the long term after your trial ends you'll be able to enjoy all of their pro features for 30 days and 30 days would be enough to decide whether you want to continue subscribing to their plan and if you think it's worth investing in in the long term anyway for the um, pages you can actually download both pages but it's gonna be a zip file so we're gonna click on done and click on download so we're gonna try to download it and i'm gonna show you how you can unzip your zip file okay we're gonna go ahead and open our folder where our designs been saved and here it is so if you want to unzip your zip file um what i'd like to do is i'd like to right click and click on new click on folder to create a new folder we're gonna call it um your my cupcake design and we're gonna drag this zip file and put it there we're gonna open and then we're gonna right click on our zip file and click on extract here and there you go your files have been extracted into separate files Okay, and you can now rename your file. So in my case, I'm gonna rename a variation number two as black bg your my cupcake. And we're gonna rename number one as white bg your my cupcake. And there you go. And that's it. That's how you use Canva for creating Redbubble designs. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more Canva tutorial videos. Thanks so much for watching. We hope to see you in the next video. You guys have a great day.